Hi, welcome back to my channel. So if you haven't guessed it, I'm doing a Michael Myers inspired makeup look. And this is going to be my very first Halloween makeup tutorial for the year. I already started off with my eyebrows blocked and then I'm using the Moran Fantasy FX Cream Makeup in the shade White. I'm just putting that all over my face and my neck to mimic the Michael Myers mask that he wears. For the ears, I'm using the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Concealer in the shade White. I'm setting all of that with the Moran Setting Powder in the shade Neutral. For the shading and contours, I'm going to be picking up some of these matte eyeshadows by Shawnee Cosmetics is from their Beauty Cliché Makeup Kit. I'm using a bunch of grays and blacks just to outline our features on the face. For Michael's facial features, I'm just using a picture that I picked up, up on Google. I'm first using a matte medium gray shade and I'm just outlining my chin, my cupid's bow, my nose. I'm also outlining the mouth. Michael has very pointed top lips, so I'm just trying to mimic the shape of them as best as I can. To block out my lips, I just use a concealer as lipstick. For his famous cheekbones, I'm just using the medium matte gray shade and I'm smiling to get the apples of my cheeks. I'm taking this pretty low down on the cheeks because we kind of want to get the illusion that the cheeks are hanging a little bit over. So I do want to outline them first and then I'm just going to be technically dragging in the color up into the cheeks. I did switch over to a more fluffy brush for this because it was a lot easier to use. I am also going to be outlining the lower part of the mask to kind of give the illusion that it's hanging off the neck and there's a little bit of a shadow down there. You first want to outline it with a dark black or a dark gray color and then you just want to blend it and fade it out at the bottom with a fluffy brush. I'm also going to be using the matte dark gray shades to contour the rest of my face. I don't want this mask to look perfect, so we are kind of making it a little broken and ripped off for that. I just took a makeup wipe and then I just wiped off the makeup where I want it to look like it has some cracks. And I'm using the Shawnee Cosmetics Foundation Palette to fill in those spots with a foundation shade. And on the part of the eye where we kind of took off the makeup there, I'm just filling in my eyebrows so you can see the bottom part of the mask, so like my actual face. My version of the Michael Myers look is going to be a little bit of a glam and gore type of version. You can completely stop it before we cut out the pieces and just leave it as that and just do the typical Michael Myers look, but I do want it to be a little bit of a more glam version. So then I just set the foundation that we use for the part that's under the mask. And then I'm outlining the cracks with a matte gray shadow so it can look like it has a little bit of shadow underneath the mask as well. Basically this whole tutorial is just um, highlighting and contouring and shading. Honestly, that's just the trick to make everything look as real as possible because in real life there is some highlights and some shadows, so you just want to mimic that.
and here you can see I outlined the crack and then I am just dragging the color inside And you can add as many lines and cracks as you like. It all depends on you. I just added as much as I needed. And I'm also adding a little bit of shadow right outside the lines. And I'm just leaving a little space in between for a highlight. Moving on, I'm using this black eyeshadow, the color Muse by the Morphe Dare to Create palette. I'm just putting that all over my eyelid and as well as underneath my eyes to create a shadow in the eye hole of a mask. Then I'm using the Shani Cosmetics Chunky Liner. It's a black liner. I'm using the Ciate London Eyeliner. I'm just lining both of the eyes. On the glam side, I am using a winged eyeliner. And then I'm just adding a little bit of black shadow underneath the lash lines. I also did my mascara and eyelashes for that side. I added a little bit of the liquid liner on the cracks because I did want the lines to be a little bit more dark and opaque. To take this look a little bit up the notch, I'm just using some Suva Beauty Hydro Liner in the color Cherry Bomb. It's a red shade, I'm just putting that right on top of the lines to make it look like he's bleeding. Make this a little bit more spooky. And to make the blood look a little bit more realistic and shiny, I just put some petroleum jelly right on top. You can honestly use anything. You can even use a chapstick if you like. And that would be it for the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to comment, rate, share, and subscribe.